Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having a little bit of fun testing out the red version of Merlin in PvP. So, this character, you know, initially, like, when she was released, I used to see her everywhere, man, when I was climbing. But then Green Merlin came out, and Galen came out, and Green Merlin, she's just, like, so PvP meta at the moment, man. That ability to make everybody start with one additional alt gauge is just way too good, man. It's just an absolute game changer. So that's kind of one of the things that buried her but also on the release of Galland as well because if Galland's coerce lands on uh, red Merlin then she can't freeze and that's kind of the main value in this character is freezing opponents controlling them and having like that crazy wombo combo for damage at the right point as well but you know maybe with the Escanor meta we might be able to make her work um uh, quite nicely today. So just to quickly cover her skills before we jump in. So her, kind of her basic one poison wave is pretty much exactly the same as Arthur's basic. So it deals damage but if you get it upgraded to silver or gold it can also disable recovery skills for a certain amount of turns. So yeah this is really good for blocking out characters like King. Again pretty much exactly the same as Arthur's card there. Her second one is the freeze and the freeze is really really good. It's just like immediate CC there. Uh, but also, if upgraded as well, um, targets take additional, like, 80% or 200% damage while frozen. So I'm interested to see if we can do some, like, wombo combos with that. And then her ultimate ability is exactly the same as Green Merlin. So you got a fair amount of damage, but also disables attack skills for two turns. And has that synergy with Arthur there uh, to amplify the damage a little bit further. And then we have her unique ability, which increases pierce rate by 10% for each alt move gauge orb she has and if it's full you get an additional 50% the problem is that this Merlin I don't think is really a damage dealer she's a bit more control than anything else so yeah this would be like insane on Hauser or like green Liz Hawk but on Merlin you know like green Merlin's unique is, is much 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 better I would say uh, but anyway let's see if we can win I thought we'd go for uh, Gotha and also King I was kind of contemplating going for like maybe Arthur and also Twiggo on the sub I think either team could work uh, but yeah I thought we go for this one today just because it gives us a little bit more control um, and there's also a lot more survivability with um uh, Guild Thunder on the sub as well. So I'm curious to see if we can actually win some matches today with this team and how good the crowd control is going to be. I think our plan to actually get uh, kills is to rush King's ultimate probably or line up Gotha and Kings. But I think, you know, between the combination of Merlin and King, we should have like a really decent amount of CC. And uh, just a really strong ability to control our opponent, fingers crossed. But yeah, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what you draw. But I just remember fighting this team like ages ago, man. If it locks you down nicely, there's not too much that you can do. Uh, but we got a Hellbrim matchup or a Kingbrim matchup to start off with. Uh, and I think what we're going to go for here, should we go for upgrade on... Uh... Oh, actually, do we just rush Ghost as all? I don't think we do. Let's go for upgrade on King, and then I think we are going to, uh, let's freeze the King, and let's petrify Gotha. Just going immediately for double CC play, man. Just keep on controlling. Maybe we'll give, you know, Halbrim a little bit of a taste of their medicine there. But now we've got no control next turn. We do have the attack disable. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's a pretty good play we can go for next turn. Providing uh, Ghost that doesn't get petrified. We can still break him out, actually. Yeah, this should be uh, a nice one to go for. So I think what we're going to do here is that's upgrade on... I think I'm actually going to upgrade on Merlin. And then we're going to go for the attack disable here. And I'm shut down King's um, Purify for two turns. Quite like that play. Means that the majority of my opponent's plays are off the table. 20k, not too bad there. But again, we got the um, the kind of two-turn Arthur effect currently active on that king. And uh, some pretty nice stuff that we can follow up with as well. Maybe we should have gone for the two-turn attack disable instead. We got double, double freeze next turn. Which we can uh, fire off. I, th I think we go for double freeze here, man. 
Do I want to do bonus? I don't really need bonus damage. Okay, I think we attack the Sable, and then we freeze, and then we freeze. <laughs> Bro, this team's just, this team's like way too much CC, man. There we go. As my opponent got like no cards they can use. Oh, this is, uh, it's a little bit cheesy, lads. It's a little bit cheesy. Oh yes, we just completely denied the turn there. That was fantastic. Right, I think we go for the ultimate there. So that's going to get a nice solid drain. And then let's fire this one off onto Gotha. And then I think we freeze the king on the follow-up. Actually, let's um, use that instead. And hopefully, hopefully that kills king. Maybe I should have swapped those uh, abilities around there. I think that would have been a little bit wiser in hindsight. But there, there's still a chance we can kill King. Uh, we're going to block out the regeneration anyway. So yeah, we, we might be able to do some nice stuff here. Yeah, I think hindsight probably should have, have gone for that freeze. But again, it's my first time playing this team, man, and there's there's definitely a lot to think about. Okay, even if Helbrim uses his ult, it wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Okay, I think what we do here, actually, is should we just upgrade on Merlin? What's that really do? It doesn't really accomplish much if we upgrade on Merlin. So I think we go in for the nuke here. Let's freeze Hellbrum. And then let's uh, merge on King. <laughs> oh. Okay, th there's no way, right? Oh yeah, he can drain my uh, King. And then what follow-up plays do I have after this? I think we just upgrade King, petrify that Hellbrum. Oh, dude, this this CC is toxic, man. Okay. I think I'm going to go for a bit of a, a damage combo here. So let's upgrade Merlin, freeze, and then we're going to petrify. I could freeze both. But this is like the 80% damage multiplier. So that should amplify the damage maybe enough to kill. Yeah, dude, 31k, very, very nice. I was gonna, fr maybe freezing both there was the the better play. There's just, um, wow, there's <laughs> just a, a lot you can go for with this team, man. Okay, let's upgrade on King and let's, um, attack the Sable and then go for Nice little petrify there. But yeah, that was definitely a very interesting first uh, first match against Talbrim there. We really just locked him down, man. He he had like nothing he could really do. I think it's just because that freeze is just it's so damn accessible, boys. Let's go for just all of the damage here. Need to remind myself that upgrading Merlin's just regular bronze attack this doesn't deal any additional damage, but it does give us that uh, ability to block out King's regeneration. But Merlin, Red Merlin, she's really, really good for shutting King down. Like, her two cards are just very, very anti-King. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a great first matchup, man. That worked out really, really nicely. But let's see if, uh, you know, we're going to be on a win streak today or if we're about to take some fat L's. I'd imagine uh, going second against Escanor might not be too kind to us. But I don't know. We don't really have, like, that immediate drain that, like, Helbrum does to, um, uh, like, keep Escanor under control. And also, we're, like, lacking in alt gauge to kind of rush uh, Ghost's ultimate. So I'm not too sure if we're meeting somebody that's playing Escanor. I don't, I don't know if we stand too much of a chance. Depends how stacked the Escanor is, man. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we've got a Merlin, Escanor, Gotha team. We get to go first just by a friggin' hairline there, boys. That was, that was really, really close. So I think what we want to do here is let's upgrade King. And let's go for 
freeze there, and then I think we go for petrify over here. It's like the original, uh, the original <laughs> Cancer King from Team right here, man. <laughs> Okay, nice. We actually, actually have a really good play next turn, I think. Depends what this Merlin decides to go for, really. Hmm. Can I nuke into Merlin? I think I'm actually going to nuke into Merlin just to shatter the, the shield here. So let's nuke into Merlin, and then... Actually, whoa, 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 wait, wait, do I have a better way of doing that? No, I didn't have a better way of doing that. Okay, so nuke into Merlin, and then golden attack disable. Might be able to get somebody down with Merlin, so... If he's lucky, king? We also do have Gil Thunder on the sub, so we're a bit more tanky than usual. It doesn't get king down though, there's limited follow-up play. I don't know, he might be able to use Eskinor's upgraded card, yeah. Okay. We, we got Ghost Assault though, which allows us to get some really nice control back in this matchup. And there's still like a secondary turn of attack disable. So here, I think we just go for... Um, the damage up, and let's fire off Ghost's ultimate, and let's follow up on, let's just make sure, I think that Ghost dies, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna nuke into Espinal, I think if somebody else comes down then they're not attack disabled, Ghost could also attack disable me, I'm hoping he doesn't have a secondary card, oh we got Merlin down, very good, very good. Come on, get Eskimo down. Yeah, boy. That's sick, mate. That's sick. Well. Arthur on the sub. Interesting choice. Okay, what's my opponent going to go for next? I think, yeah, even with attack disable, we can still use both of uh, Merlin's cards. So I think what we're going to go for here... We're going to upgrade... Um, I don't really like too much reason to upgrade. I think I'll upgrade Gotha just so next turn I can upgrade everything I got in my hand. Because yeah, this turn I just need that to kill Gotha and then I'm just going to three uh, free Zarfa. Damn. This team's, um, this team's actually working out a little bit better, better than I expected it to today, man. <laughs> Red. I just don't think like too many people are used to playing around, um, what is that? Red Merlin in the current meta. Is a character that you uh, you certainly don't see too often. Uh, should we just go for this on the follow up? Ho hopefully, it's enough. Come on, Merlin. Not too bad. Nice little attack to save on that as well. Let's go! Oh, not quite, mate. Not quite. Gold would have definitely j done the job there, though. Um, what do we use for the KO? <laughs> Just, I, I think this is actually like my best plan to KO. It's going to Silver Freeze and then fire off the gold. Get the 80% multiplier there. Dude, imagine, imagine getting off a gold freeze. Oh no, somebody's going to die. Dude, if Ghost is dead. Ah, we're still fine even if Ghost is dead. person's really uh trying to drag this one out till the uh the bitter end though i mean arthur he is he can do some pretty wild comebacks in all fairness man don't uh blame his optimism there i'm hoping this combo gets him down yeah it should be fine thinking about going for the freeze for safety but i was like nah we can get him down man we can get him down 
Right, perfect. Straight in the bin. So we are, we're two for two so far. We're certainly uh, not doing too bad today, man. All right, so I'm skipping ahead. We just had a terrible matchup against uh, Kingbrim team, man. They just got way too lucky with the CC. And I just didn't draw any freeze cards. So yeah, it's it's very, very reliant, this uh, tactic on like uh, drawing the freeze, man. Because uh, if the, the opposing team gets uncontrolled, um, but before we have like an ultimate, then yeah, it's just uh, it's just game over a lot of the time. But I don't know. There's still like a, a few ways we have to uh, you know fish out of various scenarios. But Kingbra man, it's just got so much friggin' utility. Well, let's uh, have a bit of a look at who we're gonna be fighting next. Oh, it's another Kingbra matchup. What a surprise, man! All these people out here playing Kingbra. So I think we are gonna go for. Uh, let's have a bit of a look. I think we upgrade the king. And let's go for a uh, freeze on king. And then we're going to go for just a straight up petrify on Gotha, I think. What do you go for one on Helbrim? I think let's try on Helbrim, man. Let's try on Helbrim instead. Because Helbrim's... He's drawn into a silver man, so there's just a good chance that he already had like a petrify. However, my opponent has three Gotha cards, which means he can rush Gotha's ult next turn. We don't have a drain or anything. So yeah, that's not that's not super ideal there, is it, lads? Um, I think we can actually control that Gotha though. Yeah, I believe we can. So I think let's go for uh, the lockdown here. And then it's kind of up to us. Okay, I think we have to go for Petrify in the middle and let's block out Cleanse on the right. And then if he has like a uh, friggin' Petrify on Helbrum, which he probably does. He's got something gold on Helbrum, right? Yeah, he's upgraded everyone, man. He's got friggin' two petrifies in hand. Oh, we're in a bit of trouble here, man. We're in a bit of trouble. Okay, very, uh, <laughs> very interesting plays there. I think, uh, let's go for... Do you want to break Merlin out? I think we want to break Merlin out. Let's go for the ultimate here and then follow up with attack disable. Hopefully that's enough to get Gotha down, man. Kind of give him something a little bit annoying to deal with next turn. I'm worried this one. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like it's going to be enough. Very nice. Right, Gotha goes down. Got attack disable there. It's easily cleansed by King, though, so... I have no problem dealing with that. Hmm. Right, I think to win we need to get Ghost's ultimate. Dude, if we had double freeze here, it'd just be crazy clutch. Um, I think we want to upgrade Gotha here and then go for the attack disable, just so that limits the drain plays. And then I think we want to freeze King. And then he needs to. Um, Yeah, what is it? Petrify is the only thing that will stop that Gotha. Unless he gets really lucky with a Halbrum crit. However, Gotha has really, really high crit resistance, so he should be fine. I think. Okay, yeah. We're all good, man. We're all good. We can take a Halbrum's ult. So let's go for this all and then we're going to upgrade on king and then i think we are going to two turn petrify 
the blue king. We just keep that blue king just out of the game. We can come back and win this. I'm pretty sure. My king's at Zolt in there, but there's a really, really good chance uh, he gets drained next turn. Maybe kill next turn. But 100% drain. Okay, he's going to get a single drain. He's going to get a double drain. Any more drains? Okay, so I think what we go for here is um, freeze the Halbrum, and then I think we just double nuke on Merlin because we've got the advantage there. Then that gives us uh, my Merlin's ult. Dude, I love to see King and Halbrum like that, man. It just uh, it feels really, really good. One's frozen, one's petrified, they both can't use their cards. Oh, it's a happy time, boys. It's a happy time. You know, I, I think we controlled that matchup quite well, boys. I think that was certainly not too bad at all. Right, let's go for the upgrade there. Uh, fire that one off. Let's go for attack disable and Helbrim. Should be enough to get King down there. Perfect. And is that enough to get Helbrum down? Uh, maybe. Helbrum's a little bit more squishy. Hey, Perfect. Dude, that was sick, man. That was really, really sick. Well, I, uh, I've got a bit of a growing soft spot for Red Merlin, man. She's doing some, um, some solid work this evening. I think we'll go for one more matchup. Test this out. Maybe another Escanor matchup. Probably another Helbrum uh, matchup. Knowing the meta at the moment, man. Everybody's just playing friggin' Kingbrum or Escanor. I, I feel like uh, I'm seeing less and less Escanors by the day. People are like, well, you know, Escanor, he's pretty good, but <laughs> is he a Kingbrum team? If you go first, he is, yeah, man. He can demolish Kingbrum team. But it depends on the it depends on the RNG, man. It depends on the RNG. However, hey, we got an Escanor team here. Maybe I should have stopped my smack talking. We just about get to go first here, which is very, very nice news. Um, so I think what we'd like to go for here is uh, let us freeze the Escanor and uh, do I want to upgrade on King or? I think I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade on King. I was thinking about just going for the, um, what was it, friggin' uh, recovery disable, but then I thought if I just go for that then he's just going to upgrade and petrify on my King and then I don't even get to use my petrify. And that would be not the best time. I don't really kind of have the hand that I want here, though. I think I'm going to go for the merger here. Just get everything I'm after. And then we're going to attack the Sable there. And then I need to throw a King card. I think I'm just going to get rid of the, uh, the Purify here. So let's use this. And then next turn, what does he have gold? Who's, who's got the friggin' gold card? Is that Escanor has got the gold card? I think it might be King that's got the gold card, bro. I think he's got gold fossilization. <laughs> yeah, King's uh, a little bit wrecked there, boys. So a little bit wrecked. Right, I think we go for... The ult over here. Let's go for follow up, and then let's uh, let's freeze. Dude, this is all on Red Merlin, man. She can get that friggin' Escanor down. Then I think we're in a good spot. Who drops down though? Okay, it's uh, green Merlin. Yeah, not too bad. 
even attack disable uh, won't shut down. I can actually really do my opponent killing that freaking king this turn. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. Did he really just do that? That was a. Uh, I, I think he was like, yeah, this is definitely to kill king, bro. Wow, that's a fat rip, boys. That is a fat rip. Um, I think he's like, oh, dude. What have I done? What have I done? Uh, well, well, well. Wait, did I just freeze and do that on the same target? Yeah, I don't know why. I think I, I think I misclicked the skills there. Oh, yeah, that was a, a bit wasted, man. I probably could have KO'd that turn if I had used uh, that a bit more sensibly on the green Merlins. That was just, that was just a dumb play, man. Just getting the, uh, the cards confused there. Right, nice one. Well, uh, well played, Dragon from the the Bloodlust. So wait, I think we'll go for. Oh, gosh, I'm I, I'm taking some deep satisfaction in the amount of control that this um team does have. So I think we'll go for one one more matchup just to uh, <laughs> round it off today. Oh, dude. Red Merlin, I don't think she's top top meta, but she she's like viable enough and unexpected enough to use of uh, a little bit of success here and there. I think she does work out uh, decently, especially if you draw into a lot of freezes as well. Just the great part is, you know, you draw the freeze um, and you don't need to upgrade it. It's like Halbrim and King's Petrify cards. You know, you need two of them or go through upgrade to get it. Whereas Merlin, man, she's just chucking out a lot of control. And then that ultimate, even at 1 out of 6, is still like dropping opponents if I combo it with a bronze. If I had that ultimate, um, like 6-6, six, six, then I think it'd be fairly reliable one-shots on most units, especially characters like Escanor as well. Yeah, it seems decent. However, this is a great first turn for old Kingy boy here. I think what I'll do, because King is likely to get... Controlled, just double petrify, I think, to start us off. Let's go for one petrify there and one petrify on Gotha as well. Because if Marlin's just on her own, man, then she ain't too much of a threat because she can't cube people that are already petrified. Hmm. Yeah, maybe merge for attack the same all next turn. I want to rough like Gothers all ideally. If I can get Gothers all off before friggin' uh, Escanor, then we are laughing. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the silver here and then follow up with attack the sable. Great Escanor should be having a pretty good time. Does he have the burst? I hate those silver cards on, man. Oh, actually, maybe he can drain? Yeah, yeah. maybe I should have frozen the Merlin instead. That would have probably been a bit of a better play, but he didn't go for that one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe he didn't have any drain cards left. I don't know, maybe he used them all up. Um... Okay, so let's go for the drain there, and then I think we just uh, merge on King, and let's uh, use this. So we can follow up with King's Boy. ultimate to turn after. If ever he's drained, there's not... I don't know, I'm a bit worried about those gold cards, though. We do have Guild Thunder on the sub slot, so we're a bit more tanky. It's a good chance that King gets drained this turn. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I think that's a silver cube there, so that one's going to be a bit tanky. That's definitely gold. Am I going to get another gold? Okay, that's a silver. 
And then, yeah, there's my phone, just not any drain cards. Maybe. I'm not too sure though. I, s I swear he has drain cards. Maybe, maybe this is a bot. I'm not too sure, lads. Right, let's go for King's Ultima, and then should we just follow up here and here with Merlin? Because I think that that'll just guarantee the KOs on Eskimor and uh, Merlin. They're not already dead. Oh, that is fine. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. King's Alt putting in work there, boys. We love to see it. We love to see it. And then we just got Guild Thunder remaining. So yeah, we can do a, a nice little combo here. Play uh, combo play here just to guarantee the one shot on Guild Thunder. But I think if we go for the upgrade on Merlin, let's go for the freeze. Let's fire that one off. There we go. We so we get 80% bonus damage off that ultimate there. So yeah, not too bad at all, lads. But yeah, overall, Red Merlin, I think we got a little bit lucky in some matches. And some matches, I think we're almost certainly against uh, bots, but it's um, always a little bit tricky to tell exactly who is and uh, who isn't sometimes, man. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully today you did enjoy the Red Merlin PvP video. Definitely very potent control character. Uh, not quite, maybe overall as spicy as Helbrum, but hey, when you get those right draws, man, when kind of the stars align, she's very, very nice to play around with. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Red version of Merlin in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy today's PvP video, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button and sub to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.